Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding finding the users with valid emails and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Apple interviews a couple of times in the past two years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called users with three different columns, user ID, name and email, user ID being the primary key for this table. This table contains information of the users signed up in a website. Some emails are invalid. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the users who have valid emails and how they are defining a valid email. A valid email has a prefix name and a domain where the prefix name is a string that may contain letters, upper or lower, digits, underscore, period, and or, or dash. And the prefix must start with a letter. The domain is at the rate leadcode.com. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here, which all users match all these criteria, right? So it should start with a letter, then it should contain upper lowercase letters, underscore period or dash right so if you look at this right so this should be in the output because it satisfies all that here we don't have a domain right so it shouldn't be there this is going to be there this again going to be there here starts with a letter has a domain etc but here it is a hash right and only things that we are allowed to have is underscore dot that is period or dash right so this is not valid this one again not valid because it is a domain name gmail.com and here everything is good except that it starts with a dot it should start with a letter as the question suggests right the prefix name must start with a letter so which all are going to be in the output this one one two and three and if you look at the output this is what we are going to get Okay, so basically this question requires the use of regular expressions. Regular expression is a technique where match strings based on certain pattern, right? So let's start developing this query. So from, right, from this table called users, and when we use regular expressions, we need to write a function called regular expression like, right? So we remember that we use the like operator to match certain things. Here we are matching based on patterns. So we use a different function called regexp like, right? So we write where regex, regular expression, regexp like, right? And then which column you need to check? You need to check the mail column. And then what is the pattern? Okay, so let's start with it, right? So it says the prefix name must start with a letter. Okay, so in the quotes, we need to write and make sure that the starting should must be with a letter. It could be uppercase or lowercase does not matter, but it should be a letter. So how do we match the starting of a string? We use this symbol, right? We use this symbol and then it can be letter, any letter from the English alphabet, right? So lowercase a to z or uppercase a to z. So we write small a to z and capital A to Z. So this is what it will make. It will say that, okay, the first letter must be a letter. Okay, then it can have any number of letters or underscore or period or a dash, right? So we say, okay, we open another square bracket. So here, as I mentioned, A to Z defines that the range from lowercase a to lowercase z. Similarly, lower uh, uppercase A to uppercase Z, right? And this square bracket signifies that, you know, you can have anything from this range, right? So another, we are also going to specify another square bracket. Basically, you can choose or you can have anything from this. And in that, what we can put is, again, similar, it can have any lowercase letter, any uppercase letter, right any number right number is also allowed digits is allowed so 0 to 9 and then it can be either underscore period or dash right 
and since asterisk matches zero or more occurrences of the preceding string then we need to put in asterisk here why because it should start with a letter right uppercase or lowercase but after that it could be anything right it could be anything from this it can be there it cannot be there for example if you look at it right here you have a dash but you don't have an underscore you don't have a dot similarly here you have a dot you don't have a dash or an underscore right you don't have a digit even so that is what i'm saying is that you need to put this asterisk so that it is possible that okay the starting is there let's say for example we had another column b at the rate or c at the rate or whatever at the rate leadcode.com so here it will say okay it is cool and then if you don't put, put this asterisk it is also going to find out whether like if there is one character from this and in that case let's say the example is b at the rate leadcode.com right so in that case the starting is there but this is not going to be present and it is not going to return that but that is a valid email right because it all it says you should start with a letter this can be or cannot be there so that is why we need to write asterisks and then we need to find out okay so after this we ha should have the domain name at the rate leadcode.com so that is a hard code match right so we write exactly what like this leadcode.com but here there is another problem the problem is that dot is a special operator in regex which means that whenever you write dot it will match to any character right so if there is a email where it says whatever at the rate lead code exclamation mark com or lead code question mark com whatever right so this dot basically signifies any character between e and c it will match so obviously we don't want that we want that it should match to a period so just like we did here we should include this in a square bracket right so once we do this now it will look at okay at the rate lead code then it should be a dot and then com right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again kind of a very simple question but all you need to do was to understand that what different operators in regex looks like what they mean how to match in the starting end how to choose ranges the use of square brackets right the use of asterisks plus etc right and it is a very simple question let me know if there is a better way to write this regular expression or a more efficient way to write this expression let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video